Always measure the spices first, Betty. Six. Cloves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh? Eight chilies. Lena Betty. Always take your time. That's the difference between winning and losing. Now, close your eyes. Taste it. Taste it in your heart. No matter what the recipe says, Betty, always follow your heart. Best chicken shakuti this side of Mary Hill. <laughs> One day, Betty, you're going to be the best cook in Glasgow. Time, girlfriend. I'm so sorry, darling. We're here today to say goodbye to a very special man. Mohan Shah was a devoted husband and a loving father to all of his children, especially. His Nina, out of sight, but never out of her father's heart. Many times Mohan said to me, Nina will come home, Raj. She'll come home soon. Then, I'll be in heaven.
knew you'd come. Caddy. Ma? He's gone, Nina. Your dad's gone. Hey. She's far too thin. Oh, she's home now. Her mommy will fatten her up. Do you think she's uh, got a man? I doubt that. You know what, with one thing and another, things might be different between the two yous now, eh, Sanji? You know what they say? Forgive and forget. They say a wedding's lucky the first year after a death. Oh, yes. We've run out of samosas. Aha! Uh -huh. The prodigal returns. Hello, Sanji. Your mother asked me to help out. I'm really sorry about your dad, Nina. Right, samosas, I'm on it. Who's that? Oh, that's Lisa. Maybe you should have a wee word with your brother, Pete. Three years is a long time. You're going to have a lot to talk about. Here, let me do it's it. It's okay, I can. How's London? Still frying burgers? I'm sorry I was late. There's no skin off my nose. You don't have to explain it to me, and it's too late to explain it to him. How's med school? I've dragged it in. I'm working for Raj now and I pure love it. It's only a means to an end. I'll have my own cash and carry superstore before I'm 30. Carry, darling, come here a minute. But I want to set myself up with my share of the restaurant money. What restaurant money? Mrs. Pandita's goat's been giving her jip. I said you'd have a wee look at her. Her own doctor's worse than useless. You know I'm not a doctor. Ugh, yes, but you've read all the books. That's better than most of them around here. Right, ladies. Who's first? How are you doing? OK. Lisa. I'm sorry if I was a bit weird before. I didn't really recognise you. <laughs> Why would you? I left in second year. I hope I've changed since then. Thanks for helping out today. No problem. I remembered you, though. Bloody hat trick. No other Scottish curry house has ever done it. Best bloody restaurant this side of Mary Hill. Is she all right? Yeah. What did you mean before? 
About the money? What money? The money we get from the sale. What sale? The Taj. Carrie, hurry up. We're going to be late. Janice will be... Sorry. Carrie, come on. We've got to go. Sorry. Later. No, Carrie. No. Let me get this straight. Dad used the restaurant as collateral for a bet. Not exactly. He used half of it. Oh, well, that's all right, then. He had me worried for a minute. Was he out of his mind? On the surface, I agree. It looks like the act of a pure lunatic. But in his defence, he was up to his eyes. He owed thousands. I guess he thought he had nothing to lose. Is it legal? Watertight. Her dad's got a pure Rottweiler for a lawyer. Well, then we'll get our own Rottweiler. This can't be right. I bet it's a bet, Nina. He knew what he was doing. He was desperate. Your dad took advantage. Uh, nobody forced him. I need to talk to Joe. Well, he's in Benidorm, golfing and probably shagging. Anyway, it's not my dad you need to talk to. It's me. I've got to take this. Come on. No, Carrie. We're dead late. Good morning, Glasgow. <laughs> it's drive time with Molly on Korma Radio. This afternoon promises to be bright. Promises, promises. Well, that's good news for poor Mrs. Khan from Mary Hill, whose cat's been missing for a week. <coughs> Flights coming in from Mumbai have been delayed, so don't bother going to the airport. But we hope that won't delay the arrival of India's number one heartthrob. Five o'clock princess. Fish. Mm. Think West End Wendy, not Muscle Bloody Mary. I hope you're not spying for the opposition. Woo! Nina Bina, meet my chutney queens. Thank you, lot. That's the torture over. I'll see you later then. Maybe. Maybe not. 8pm, usual place. Montreux, Nation Sewers need servicing. You're a dark horse. Well, that's rich coming from Black Beauty. So? What do you think? Serious? No, you've got something, definitely. Just as well, because very soon, Mogul Productions. That's Mogul Productions Mumbai, not Mogul Productions Merry Hill. Breeze into town to cast their new Bollywood blockbuster, Love in a Wet Climate. <laughs> Catchy title. Aye, and we're gonna blow them away. <laughs> oh. Me, 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 me. That's enough about me. What about... Me? Where do I start? Do pros and cons. That always sorts the men from the boys. Well, I would, if there were any pros to do. God. How did this happen, Bobby? The Taj meant everything to my dad. Not just your dad. He'd entered the competition. Nobody knew. He was through to the final. Arriva. <laughs> now we can do pros and cons. He didn't want to sell, did he? He wanted to win that trophy for the third time. Hey, just imagine the Taj competing again. 
okay? Just imagine. Come on. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Patel who are celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary. And first, a reminder about a big event coming up next month on Karma TV. The best of the West curry competition. Hold me back! You're my first today. I'm honoured. Raj? Nina, you're looking well. London must agree with you. Well, if you'll excuse me, uh, I'd better be off. I've got a million and one things to do. Got the competition coming up. Sanjay's in the final. Congratulations. Thank you. He must be with a very good chance. Well, that depends who he's up against. But believe you me, he'll be a hard act to follow. Now, if you need anything, and I mean anything, you let Carrie know. Let me know. Thank you, Raj. Nina. How long have you been working here? Long enough. You can't live off thin air. Your dad left a groove in the pavement outside Joe's. Why didn't anyone tell me what was going on? How are we supposed to do that? You phoned a couple of times a year if we were lucky. Half the time we didn't even know where you were. Thank God for Raj. Yeah. He didn't waste a minute, did he? Beggars can't be choosers. It's more than it's worth. I don't care. I'm not selling the Taj to them. Well, then it's a good thing. It's not just up to you. I don't believe this. This is all Dad's fault. Don't you dare come back here and start handing out blame. Don't you dare. If there's blame to be handed out, you should be looking in a mirror. I'm not the one who bet the Taj on a bloody horse. No, you're right. You didn't. You had nothing to do with any of this. You didn't humiliate him. You didn't break his heart. And what about my heart? He only ever wanted what was best for you, Nina. We both did. No. You wanted me to shrivel away with a man I didn't love. How could I do that, Ma? We all do things we don't want. Why? There is no why. Do what you want, Nina. You always do. What are you doing? What I was supposed to do. He was the one who always said, listen to your heart. Should have listened to his bloody heart, then it might not have packed up on him. How could he? We were going to do this together. We were going to win the hat trick together. How could he go and just die? I thought you were Carrie. Sorry to disappoint. You said you did. Fancy a beer? Oh. Jinx! Jinx. <laughs> Just as well your dad wasn't here to see that. That table's a temple. Not a bloody bottle opener. Tomo Hansha. The best bloody cook this side of Mary Hill. Mohansha. Go. 
God, this is weird. You just lost your dad. You're about to lose your restaurant. You're going to feel a bit weird. I haven't lost my restaurant just yet. What if I could persuade my new business partner not to jump into bed with the first dodgy geezer that offers her a knockdown price? What's wrong? Well, no. You can't ask me to do that. It wouldn't be right. Your mum's been really good to me and carries my... Yeah, I know. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. It's business. It doesn't make sense to rush into anything. We could get a much better price. We won't. My dad didn't want to sail. He wanted to win that competition. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Stop slurping. <coughs> Caddy, act your age. Not your shoe size. Ma, hmm? there's something I have to tell you. That's the last of the marigolds. I thought you should have them over here. They're dad's favourites. I know, that's why Lisa ordered them. She's a wee gem, that lassie. You should snap her up before somebody else does, you know? <laughs> She'd be mad. He's up here embarrassment. Good morning, everyone. Thought my ears were burning. You know what they say, Lisa? No, what do they say? What's fur you won't go by you. Was that not right, too man? Do you want some tea? Thanks. Did you tell them? Tell, tell them, what? them what? Dad had a secret. You mean he's gambling? Everybody knew about that. Dad had entered the Taj into this year's competition and he's through to the final. Too bad. It's not our restaurant anymore. Yes, it is. It's not done and dusted until we sign. So we've... I've decided to go ahead and compete in the final. And Lisa's agreed. I sent the acceptance forms off this morning. Oh, my God! You're going to be on telly. Hundreds of people are going to see you. Genius, my pals are going to be drop-dead jealous. Hold your horses. We might not win. You had no right. How dare you come back here and start disrupting our lives? Haven't you caused enough heartache? Ma? Simon. So, It'll be good for the restaurant. We can put the price up. Thanks very much. I thought we were partners. Hey, don't blame her. This was all my idea. No, it wasn't. I can make up my own mind. Wise up. What makes you think you can do this without Dad? It was his cooking that won the trophies, not yours. Raj couldn't beat Dad, but trust me, Sanji's no slouch in the kitchen. You're just going to end up humiliating us all over again. Oh, Carrie, wait a minute. That went well. And to cap it all through the whole flaming meal, his eyes were there. I should never have worn that low top. Literally, at one point, I had to lift his chin up. I did, to make him look at my face. End of the night, you know, he tried to kiss me. I wasn't asking him in. And I put my hand up just to sort of stroke his face. The wig. He wears a wig. I thought it was a bad dye job as well, but no. I put my hand up, it was like that. His head moved, the wig, oh, it's not worth it. Stay in the house, watch the telly, cup of tea, happy days. Oh, hello, darling. Hiya. I'll just go and put the kettle on, eh? Ma, don't be upset, please. It's for Dad. It's to give him back a little bit of pride. What's wrong with that? Pride comes before a fall. Remember that? You are so like your father. Here we are. Tea's up. Do you want to be up, Nina? No, I'm fine, thanks, Mimi. I'll just go and get some biscuits, eh? And what if you lose? Hmm? You've risked everything. If Raj wants the Taj badly enough, he'll still be around. Don't be too sure of that. Raj won't always be here. Not if we keep turning him down.
Sanji. Sanji. Come on. Let's get out of here. So why did you leave? I woke up and I... I knew I couldn't go through with it. It was a terrible thing to do, though. To do a bunk on the day of your wedding. Pretty brutal, all right. I know I didn't mean to hurt anyone. It's just I freaked out, you know? I mean, they had it all mapped out for me. Marry Sanjay, have lots of little Sanjays. We'd have the Taj and the Jewel. They saw us as this power-cooking couple. The couple that cooks together stays together. I just didn't love him. No such thing. As love? There isn't. It's just a big con. See, your dad taught you how to cook. My dad taught me never gamble with anything you're not prepared to lose. Once you realize that, you get on fine. The other way is just a recipe for disaster. Can you cook? I can make a mean fried egg and brown sauce sandwich. <laughs> I don't do Indian. Well, apart from a brother. I could always murder your dad's chicken shikuti. Me too. Race you to the bike. Oh, Ma, don't, please. I don't want you to do that just yet. Funny, isn't it? Nobody's ever asked me what I want. Your dad never asked me much. But then he never told me much either. He thought I didn't know what was going on. I knew exactly what was going on. I was married to him for 30 years. Oh. Ma, I can't find the peanut butter, and Carrie's finished all the bread. Must be her. Don't tell, please. I'm not supposed to be going back to dancing. Dad banned me. Why? I don't know. After you left, he went all funny. Are you any good at it? Holy shit. I've been offered a place in the county team. That's a big deal, you know. I'm sure. I've turned it down. Do you think he's still here, Nina? I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. Please don't tell. I don't want MD to know, right? OK. Especially Carrie. He's been such an arse. He's bought loads of new clothes. Dead expensive. He's trying to impress Lisa. He's going about it all the wrong way. And since when were you such an expert on romance? I've got eyes. I see things. I've told you a secret. Now you need to tell me one. 
I don't have any secrets. <laughs> Garlic purifies the blood and keeps the skin glowing. Frying garlic lightly enhances its therapeutic action. The golden brown color of this dish signifies optimism and will dispel gloom. Hmm. This so better be worth it. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Who are we up against? Okay. The Bengal tiger. Pussycat. Unless it's under new management. It is. Oh. Bimal's Bolty and Dosa House. Last year's winners. Oh. And then last but never least, the Jewel in the Crown. in the bag? Oh, yeah. It's in the bag. <laughs> Who's Lorna? I don't know. I've no idea. Lorna. Lorna Mullen. I remember Lorna. Captain of the school hockey team, big blue eyes. Tall, legs right up to her hocksters. I am shocked. I wouldn't have thought she was your type. <laughs> she wasn't my type. I was nine. I had a crush on the world and his wife when I was nine. Me too. Green and green. And the difference is? Winning <laughs> and losing. Your cheek. You're supposed to be looking out for him. Janice, not now. Just put it on the account, OK? You've got no more credit here. It's OK, Janice. I'll sort it. But Carrie? It's OK. I'll handle it. <sighs> what is her problem? You should have cleared this with me first. Is there a problem here? No, Sandra, no problem. I'm just giving Ian our change. Gee, thanks. Nina. Maybe we could go out sometime. 
for a drink or something. I know this really good club. I don't think so. What's the point of raking up old ground? No old ground. Fresh start. Maybe we could just talk about the Taj. You see, I've got some plans, really big plans. Well, I'm afraid they might have to wait for a bit, Sanjay. We're not ready to sell. I'm sorry. Uh, since when? Since Lisa and I decided not to. All 20 of my Weight Watchers points already today. Know thy enemy. Right, go on. I need you to know the difference for when you tease mine. Mm, it's delicious. It's terrible. They didn't marinate the meat long enough. The longer you marinate it, the more tender it becomes. Taste that. Well, that's better. What's better about it? <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Mm -hmm. But it's not so overpowering. Good. Yeah, you're getting it. OK. Now, I'm going to show you how it's really done. Not yet. Right. Let's see if I can remember how to fly this thing. It's all about chemistry. And the chemistry has to be right. Slow down. Don't beat it into submission. Just coax it. Gently. <laughs> Pretty good. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you'll live. You sound like my doctor. Thought that was meant to be me. What happened? Oh, it's got um, some plutonium in the eye. <laughs> Chilly. Cold water. You need to wash it out. Is there an echo in here? You'll live. <laughs> they still talking to me then? Just. Still up for going out later? What choice have I got? And by the way, you owe me ten quid. At least he's not taking it out on you. <laughs> he wouldn't dare. He needs me too much.
is this shite? What? Carrie is right. Can't do this without my dad. No, Mimi, I don't mind. I need to keep busy. Ma? I'm just a moment. You were right. Beggars can't be choosers. Let's go see Raj. I'll call you back. Ready, Nina? Right. Here's to us, in business and in pleasure. I'll call the lawyer, we'll sign tomorrow. You know, I'll say one thing for you, Nina. You sure know how to keep a man dangling. Nina, we both know how hard this is for you and what the Taj means to you. But don't worry. I'll take good care of it. And your mother can stay as long as she likes. It will always be your home. Thank you, Raj. Good. Now, well, let's eat. Nina, I hope that full plate is not a reflection on the food. Oh, no, it's lovely, Raj. It's just, um, not very hungry. Lovely? Jeez. Damned with faint praise, eh? Come on, Nina. Be more specific than that. Tell us what you really think. I mean, don't rush it, mind you. Take your time. Wouldn't want you to make another snap decision. Well? Technically, it's very good. Technically? Mm. But there's something missing. Missing? Nina, all the ingredients are there. I can taste all the flavours, it's just there's something... I don't know. Huh. It's the chemistry. It's not quite right. You know, uh, maybe it's a good thing that you won't be cooking in the competition. After all, I wouldn't want my public ass kicked twice. You know, maybe we should employ you, Nina. Then you could come and cook for us. I don't cook for anyone except for my dad. Oh, that's a shame. Do you not want to be on the winning team, Nina? I've always been on the winning team. We've won twice before. Remember? That was then. And this is now. No sale till after the competition. Just like Mohan, I'd rag to a bowl. Right, have it your way. May the best man win. Or a woman. Cheers. Hiya, girls. Hey, I thought you were rehearsing. Night and day. We are. We're just gonna do it in front of the being mob. That might give us the extra push that we need. Mm-hmm. Over the nearest cliff, preferably. <laughs> Come in. Uh -uh. Not dressed like that.
Oh, it's you. Don't worry, little brother. I won't cramp your style. I'm here with Bobby. You two won't even know we're here. Does that come with an off switch? Janice and I are... I can see that. We are married. I'm fed up hiding. I don't want to do it anymore because I pure love you. <laughs> we sneaked away. To Gretna. Dead predictable. Dead romantic. Nobody else knows. Except Lisa. <laughs> She's pure terrified to tell her dad. He's dead. Dead white. He's a pure bum. Another one bites the dust. Drained. I'll go to bed. In my room, I hide, safe from the snow. The soul in your eyes make me wild. I can't let them see. Hope I. Sounds like a big 
You and Caddy were Mrs. Khan's cat, we nipper has been spotted in Dundee on the slopes. <coughs> Last night, I was lucky to be a guest of the Bengal tiger in Beeston. Ah, the food was gorgeous. Don't forget, we've only have a week left before Scotland's biggest event, the best of the best curry competition. Everyone, I've got to go. I can't do this just now, Lisa. Right, you lot. Show's over. People to go, places to see. Hmm? Bobby, can you do the pokey honkers tomorrow? All right. Bring the video. See you tomorrow. So tell all my sweet chili bean. Didn't mean for this to happen. 
What do I do? Go with your heart. And lose everything? Not everything. You didn't think twice about that when you ran away? I know, but I missed them, Bobby. I missed you. All I ever wanted to do was come home. Hi. You're home now. Why can't you just say it? Because if I say it, then there's no going back. I can't. Not here. Not under their roof. My mum would never be able to accept it. I don't want to have to run again, Bobby. You can't plan for love, Nina Bina. It just sneaks up on you. When you least expect it. Hello. You and I have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> That's original. Or steady and reliable. Depends on which way you look at it. I'd give anything to be more like you. With my dress sense, deceit is not an option. Do you love her? I thought you'd done a runner on me. Not yet, but I'm thinking about it. Of course you are, because that's what you always do. Look, Lisa, let's just get on with the cooking for now. Hmm? What's this? Customer feedback form. So, was the food A to die for, B okay-ish, or C pure disgust? <laughs> <laughs> and you, please. Quite legibly. Kiss my jerdies. Ready? Good. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry to bother you. I was looking for Priya Shah. There was a dance practice night, but she didn't show. She's inside. Come in. Eh, uh, better not. Just tell her Ravi called. Ravi. Are you hungry? I did you just get a fabulous photograph of you oh, tonight? Oh, that one near both my kilts. Superior. Everybody, this is Priya's friend, Ravi. Hello, Ravi. Mm. Oh, I hope you're not all waiting for At me. Last. Where have you been? You're starving. Oh dear. The food must be cold by now. Welcome, young man. Priya, don't be rude. Offer your friend a chair. Ready, Nina? To begin with, everybody's favourite, the house speciality, chicken shakuti. 
The chicken is marinated in over 20 herbs and spices and cooked slowly in sweet, fresh coconut juice. Tender lamb chops with garam masala, cooked in a rich tomato and onion sauce. King prawns, simmered in special spices and then charcoal grilled to perfection in the tandoor. Oh, I can't wait. Jira aloo, potatoes, cooked in roasted cumin seeds with fresh wild mushrooms tossed in almonds and curry leaves. Pilau rice, infused with golden saffron. And then finally, my assistant Lisa has prepared chapatis. Individually designed especially for each of you. Enjoy. Lovely. Well done, Nina. Oh. These prawns are my favourite. Mm. Sorry, pass the rice down. Oh, the entertainment's arrived. Nina, more chicken chakuti. Ach, no way. I can't dance for a Bollywood blockbuster on a full stomach. <laughs> we couldn't force one single morsel down our gullets. Beto? The addition's in an hour. Come on. Hey, you OK? Hmm. You? Yeah. It's now or never, Nina. Hmm? Come on, Bria. Read out the comments. <laughs> this one's Ravi's. The sauce on the lamb was too sweet, and he wasn't mad on the lentils. <laughs> They're still stuck in his teeth. Difficult crowd tonight, eh? Yeah. You've got to be cruel to be kind. Oh, oh don't listen to them. It was lovely. Great. <laughs> oh, it's all right. What did I see? Truth. Sanji's a black belt curry meister. If you want to win, you'll have to be on top of your game. Big deal. Nina's a curry ninja. She's not scared of a band like Sanji. Bring it on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what would Dad say? What your dad would say? You're so close to winning now that you can't let anything stand in your way. That's not what he'd say, Nina. You know exactly what he'd say. Follow your heart. <laughs> Dad's still here, you know? Oh, sweetheart. Oh, Betty. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? <laughs> Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a Of the bluebird as she sings The six o'clock alarm would never ring <laughs> Wish me luck. Luck. Go and be wondrous. Come on, Bobby. Got to get the boys on the bridge. Have you changed the batteries? Twice. It's beautiful, isn't it? A beautiful monument to eternal love. You don't believe in love. 
Your dad said some king spent 22 years building up for his queen. Dead queen. It's a monument to grief. Same thing. If he'd come from Nashville, he'd have written a song about it. I can't. Yes, you can. Look at me. We should throw that old thing out. It's broken. It's not broken. It just needs new batteries. Nina, what do you think? Keep stirring. Keep it moving. Cover every inch with the sauce. Taste it. Taste it in your heart. No matter what the recipe says, Betty, always follow your heart. Baste every five minutes using the succulent juices from the bottom of the roasting dish. Remember, every five. Leave it any longer and the meat will dry out. And it'll taste like bloody shoe leather. Not that I've tasted shoe leather, apart from Raj's bloody chicken jacuti, that is, which is a crime against humanity and shoes. <laughs> Bring a large pan of water to the boil. Bring a large pan of water to the boil. Measure the rice. Measure the rice. No, no need, need to, to wait, wait up. up. Use, Use your heart, your heart Betty. Betty. Not the scales. It's not the Taj that Sanjay is interested in. You know that, don't you? Love isn't the be-all and end-all, Nina. Well, I don't believe that. I can't believe that. You could have learned to love Sanjay. Then you'd never have left. Ma, look. You know, Dad used to tell me about your honeymoon at the Taj Mahal. And all the time that he talked about it, he had this, this look on his face. That's how I want someone to look when they talk about me. It's not Sanjay's fault, but he could never look like that. Yeah, 
stunning. What? It's yours. Tonight you don't miss the finale of the best of the worst curry competition going out live on Korma TV. <laughs> oh. oh, look at this. Please stand up. Let's have a look. Oh, I had forgotten how beautiful these are, hey? I'd completely forgotten. I hadn't. <laughs> so have you decided yet? No, she hasn't. It's got to be special. <laughs> we don't have much time, the clock's ticking. Maybe we could just pick up a few fish suppers on the way and carry them when we get there. <laughs> Do haggis before us. Tender baby lamb. Simmered in a ginger and garam masala followed by pomegranate chicken with rose petals and a light ginger sherbet for dessert. Your wedding banquet? Of course. That's what he'd want. And maybe chicken shakuti? Best chicken shakuti this, this side, side of Mary Hill. Hill. Bobby, where is he? Uh, he'll be here, I promise. We're still inside, Gary. I'm sorry I'm late. I've got a flat tie on the bus. Hey, yeah, sorry. come here. You. Where's Priya? family that gets to have a champion dancer. Hmm? I'm glad you kept on going. Chal. Oh, what the hell? There's something I need to tell you, ma. Hmm? I'm married. Her name's Janice and a pure lover. Well, it seems I have a lot to learn about love. My children seem to understand it much better than I do. Any more bombshells? Go. We're going to be late. I don't want to miss being on the telly. <laughs> Let's go. Check 
you're looking wonderful. Well, I hope you're firing on all cylinders tonight, Sanjay. Nina's cooking a wedding banquet fit for the king. That's just what we want to hear. We should go. Final of the best of the West. We've got quite a feast to serve up tonight, and I sincerely hope you will have the stomach to make it to the final course. <laughs> or to be back. Or to be back. <laughs> and in the blue zone. <laughs> the Bengal Tiger. From Bears Den. Mom, this is Janice. Oh, don't be angry with him, Mrs. Shah. It's all my idea. Pure love him. And in the yellow zone! Good. Good. Are going to entice us with spicy chicken roll flavored with tangy mixed Indian pickle stuffed with fresh garden spinach. And in the green zone! Sanjay Khanna of the Jew in the Crown. Sanjay has promised us the Maharaja's banquet, his speciality being brazen lamb smoked with cloves and cinnamon, a taste that promises to melt our hearts and light our fire! <laughs> Hot Rebek! <laughs> Hot Rebek! <laughs> and in the orange zone! of the new Taj. Inspired by the whispering palaces of Jarpur, Nina Shah has prepared a wedding banquet fit for queens. Will she entice the judges with a tender baby lamb chop? So, ladies and gentlemen, let battle commence! <laughs> never happen, you know. The two of you, not like that. Like what, Sanjay? Come on. Her mother will never allow it. She won't run away again. Do you know why? Because this time she's got something to stay for. Oh, I won't be too sure about that. I mean, she's not going to risk it. She'd lose everything. Do you really think she wants to lose her family again? Even for love? Chances of that are piss poor. That's lovely. Fit for a king. Okay, stole the lemon. Here we go. 20 minutes of cooking time remaining. What? Kiss me. We're on national television. We are.
Oh, my pa, what's going on in the orange zone? She must have forgotten some very crucial spices. Oh dear, there goes another one. She's gone, Ma. Then why are you still here? Don't make the same mistake I did. I loved your dad, but I always knew in my heart of heart of hearts he wasn't the one. Raj? Trophies don't matter. The only thing that matters is love. Oh. <laughs> Go on. Hurry up. And don't you let that girl out of your sight again. You got your mangoes. Oh, holy that, that was a narrow escape for the task, ladies, let me tell you. Right, you got 30 seconds, so let's get your finishing touches on this. You don't have to cook the pickle, you can buy that in a shop. Come on there, show us how you move. Come on, get going, get going. Right, you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Oh, me back. All the contestants have worked hard. I'm being very ambitious with their dishes. Comma TV is proud to have Scotland's top chefs as our judges today. They take their duties very seriously. Hi, hi, hi. The smells in the studio are divine. Four contestants, four judges, and four outstanding dishes. A close call between the jewel and the new dodge, let me tell you. Nina Shah's mogul menu was beautifully prepared with each and every one of the delicate flavours, complementing each other perfectly. But Sanjay Khanna confounded our senses with a meal of sheer technical perfection. A difficult choice between perfection and heavenly delight. But in true fairy tale style, the heart wins out. And tonight award goes to the pursuits of heavenly delight. <laughs>
It must be the garam masala. Hold me back. Slate one, take one, love in a wet climate.
शोलो पे सुलाए जो फूलों से उठाए तो काटो मेरू 